Bible says in the book of Genesis 48, 48 Genesis 48, uh, 47. Genesis. Genesis chapter 47 verse 7. Mm-hmm. Then Joseph brought his father Jacob and set him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Jacob, how old are you? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, the days of the years of my pilgrim are 130 years. Few and evil have been the days of the years of my life. Hold it up. And they have not attained to the days of the years of the life of my fathers in the days of their pilgrimage. So Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out from before Pharaoh. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray that you unveil your word. You're giving us things. Speak to us. Help us to know that you open the eyes of understanding. Penetrate deep into our hearts and touch the core of the roots that caused, have caused us not to rejoice in the challenge of life. Help us redeem us deliverance. Touch and heal a man and a woman that your name shall be glorified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. These words that Jacob said, you hear his age, his years were many, but they were full of pain. This is very profound. You might die and leave this earth in sorrow. The inside sorrow. You, you try to feed it so many things, but it still fails to feed it. Anymore. In this life, as we are grown, there are certain things that happen in us, and sometimes we don't no, even know what they are. And you even don't mind them or even try to think about it. Yet, that very thing that you don't want to ponder or think about affected you and made you into another being that the Lord does not expect. This man, Jacob, lost his son and he was very confident that his son had died. The son he loved so much. And he spent years in sorrow and pain of deception. The lies that his son told him he spent with him so many years. And by the time he was coming resurrect from it, he was you know, aging already. Amen. So today I want to say that all of us have had emotional wounds which are left memories from our past, the, the memories of the past. But we decided to take the journey of healing in order not to be permanent prisoners of our past unfortunate experience. Some of the wounds that still hurt is because we are not yet healed. 
Even from childhood. And we need to understand that every time God revealed himself in the Bible, Every time he revealed his name, he was providing an internal need that only he can meet. He did not know that God was a healer until he revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha. And when he talks about healing, he does not talk about only this surface healing, but he talks about even the inner healing. People can have their problems and hide them. Like the woman who had an issue of blood, no one knew. She was in her house. She was not allowed to come in public with this condition. But when she heard that Jesus was passing, she spoke to herself. This was between her and her. And secretly, privately, decided to touch Jesus without telling him anything. And I believe that was faith. And truly, her faith healed her. She touched Jesus, and then Jesus made it public. Suddenly, Jesus turned and asked, who touched the aim of my hand? Who touched me? And the apostles told him, no, everybody is squeezing around you. People are pressing on you, and you say, who touched me? And then, Jesus said, I thought power leaving me. Someone might have touched me with a purpose. Not Not in pressing around me. All of you are pressing around me. But someone came with a purpose, touched me, and power left me. And this woman came, fell down, trembling, and told Jesus the whole truth. She might have recalled certain stories of her life that where I read of it as shaming and the fact that he had been healed. The stories now were irrelevant. And the Bible says because she told Jesus the whole truth, Jesus told her, go and be totally healed. That is one second. One is is Jacob. Who remained with the pain on her heart, on his heart, till he was old. This is a woman who had hid the pain that she was going through. And then we have a man called Naaman. Who was a commander of the army of Aram. And he had many victories. He had honor. Highly respected. Great dignity. But a word of three letters. One, two, three. Changes the entire story. And that word is but. But he was a leper. He was a leper. And no one knew he was a leper. Except the wife. But the rest did not know. She made sure he hides it. What a pain. When you hide the pain, it even goes deeper. It really goes deeper. A man is honored. When he comes out, everybody salutes. I don't know how many decorations he had on him. But he was a leper. And this is what Jesus came to do. In his manifesto, 
The Bible tells us Jesus yes. returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee. And news of him went out through all the surrounding region. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified by all. So he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Recovery of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. Many of us emphasize the rest but we leave out the broken hearted. But let me tell you, even if you get all the healing and deliverance, if the heart is still sick, your deliverance is halfway. And the most important part has not been touched. And of course, you can break through but you begin to do things in strife because there is a root. You become jealous because there is a root. You are always conspiring because there is a root. If we never touch the root, the leprosy will always come out and people will see it. So I believe Nayaman also tried to hide. But this slave girl that came, that was brought from uh, Israel to Syria, noticed that the master had something wrong. And he told her master, the lady, the wife to Nayaman, she the news went through the wife. You reach Nayaman. And she told her, where you brought me from, there is a man. And this man is a prophet. Can help daddy. Daddy Nayaman. Because in that home she was daddy Nayaman. And Nayaman accepted to go to Israel to look for healing. I believe he was tired. Tell your neighbor, I do believe you're so tired of certain things. That make you the way you are. You might have even forgotten the causes, but you've already adjusted and become that. Amen. And possibly it has caused you to come to a place where you have avoided people, you buried Others even you buried and did, did, did their funeral. But you just need healing. Amen. Doctors can heal physical wounds. But can never heal the inner pain. The spiritual element the psychiatrist cannot deal with it. Mentally, emotionally. Mentally but and emotionally. They, they, they will give, put you on treatment, try it to comfort you. It is only God who heals our internal wounds. And when the internal wound heals, it will cause healing to other areas of your life. Amina. Amina. God wants us to live a life of satisfaction. 
and God's take to deliverance he speaks it in Exodus chapter 3 from verses 7 to 8. Exodus 3, 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Tell your neighbor, God knows. But you don't want to go. You, run, you flee to the You try this, you try that all to no Let avail. us all notice that God is seeing our oppression. The oppression that these people go through daily. He even sees our inner pain. He sees the conflicts, the struggles, the frustration. And even the deep longing for liberty. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord run to and flow throughout the world at 2 Chronicles 16 9. If the eyes of the Lord are running to and flow, don't you think he's seeing you? I and he's waiting and wa asking, what do you want me to Second do for you? Second Chronicles 16, 9. Second Chronicles 16, 9. For the eyes of the Lord land to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. In this you have done foolishly, therefore from now on you shall have wars. Those with an open heart, those with a heart of integrity. He wants to show himself. That's why he revealed himself to this woman. He revealed himself to the centurion officer wanting to heal the son and he said, let's go and the officer said, I know, send your wife. Everyone tell your neighbor that God knows how you suffer before you go in. But even after you embrace him, you're still struggling. You're still keeping those things in salvation. You're moody, you easily spark, you easily lose it. Always, there is a trigger and it's a serious sickness. It can cause a very massive bad problem. One thing I love of the Lord, he has an answer. He said that tribulations of the Russians are <laughs> But he still says, but I will deliver from the at the affliction. Some of these afflictions are afflictions of the heart. They are caused by what you have gone through. They are caused by unresolved issues which your culture taught you to hide. Especially in Uganda, if you are in Uganda, in Uganda, things of the house you never share, but you are dying Tell your neighbor you're dying. They say, you pretend and so pretend like everyone else is bad love. It is you, but you are the one. God the is said, and I is still saying. God, I have come down to deliver them out of the oppression. Out of the hands of their oppressors, the Egyptians. 
God wants to come down. But when he came to the man at the pool, he asked him, do you want to be healed? And the man started giving everything. It's not what I've asked. The situation became bitter because of those people partying. Those who take their patients and leave him there. Uh, uh, the first is the first report he gave. He should have said yes. One of the proof that a person has an inner wound, you ask a question, they respond to something else. You, you know how they have been better, but you know all that can happen. But let's go back to the root. Even Yabez was born in pain. And even that pain caused him a wrong identity. It called him a bad name. You are pain. And you knew that the mother See, is not the problem. I have one more other response. I have one more other response. I have one more other response. Accusations. The same way for him, he did not bring the mom. The same way we front <inaudible> our mom. <moms inaudible> <and problems. inaudible> In the prayer of Yabez, we don't see <inaudible> him. <inaudible> him <inaudible> After he identified I that wish he was somebody can pain. put that prayer of Jabez up there so that you see. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. He was not honorable before. <inaudible> the Bible puts it that way. When you are writing a book, even when I'm writing, I can put a statement that causes you to read the rest, captures your attention. But when you read, the Bible says, Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, Oh, that you bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil that I may, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested and he made him more honorable. God answered his prayers Tell your neighbor that is what God is waiting for you to do. Yes, I always wonder why Christ always told people. And Jesus always said that man who shouted in the that his bananas Jesus knows the blind. He even knew their uniform. The government that Batmaya's took off It was a uniform to those in the army. That was a uniform to that's why when Christ called him, the first thing he dealt with was the wrong identity. And after he reached Christ, oh, he said, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Yet he's saying that he's blind. Today you are going to voice it. Tell your neighbor, you must you know, put a voice to something. And the voice must be genuine. Can you tell somebody, stop editing and auditing your prayer? Tell God the way exactly you feel. Stop even telling God because so and so. Stop hating and reporting people being genuine. Tell God that you are Tell somebody that God loves people who are genuine and truthful. Go take it in a chair. Ugambi, chikuri ndo zawala. Damo gamba kuina ikatonda ya galibi yomunda biya mazima. Tell your neighbor God loves the deep things for they are most truthful. Yagamba, I am the Lord that heals you. Exodus fifteen twenty six. I am the Lord. I told you here. If you really need inner healing, the first thing you need to do is to be honest with yourself. Be honest with God. Be honest with your confidence, someone you can trust. Because every time you download, that brings healing. Downloading at Yafulka, Nzibunyo, Kubango Gamba, Anigwe Nagamba, 
abayo. Okwatula kwazi became hard because now Yesu we are praying to share. Yesu mwana akatonda mulamba. Jesus son of Bwe God. Murushuku. When he was in Mkumi the seven, and then he chose the three from the twelve, and he took Naba the three, gamba, and, and he said, yes. I, I have deep sorrow close to killing yes. you, Jesus. Jesus speaks of his Mkutu sorrow. Shumula. You, you can't. And he said, stand with me. Yes. If, if Jesus had people, he could tell how Jesus, about Jesus, senior you. pastor, senior apostle, senior prophet. Jesus, the senior pastor, the senior apostle, the senior, apostle, the senior prophet, was able to acknowledge and confide in someone that have a problem. The Bible says in Psalms 32 verse 3, Zaburi, Zaburi when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groanings all day long. My bones grew old as I kept quiet. When you have you develop inner bitterness, you grow when you grow old. Gabano onyereza, e mabega wakansa, chizibu chechi singo kubera yo, e jitari chaburi joa ne chiri emotional. And never saw anti majority yab and travel around cancer, but in your own the research has proved by scholars of scientists making a study of the greatest ingredient <inaudible> behind <inaudible> cancer <inaudible> and it has revealed it is, it, there is embedded behind it a deep sorrow. Tell your neighbor, emotional wounds will never be resolved <inaudible> by ignoring them. But by confronting them. And many people, when we talk about wounds, they say, who hurt me, who offended me. I don't have anyone. We are not talking about. Someone, someone will use evil to, you know, to bite you. When this person really wronged you, not. But because of the trauma of the poverty he's is he's determined to do whatsoever it takes. There are people, there are people say, by twenty thirty. thirty. If you hear people say certain statements, someone said that for me to fail, I'd rather compromise. You no longer have a feeling for somebody. When someone says, for us, our hearts have hardened, you mean you're no you no have closed your heart to feelings? Something must be wrong. You have to be sick. You cannot lie to me. Tell your neighbor that you can call me. Even if you go in deliverance sessions and readings and write books and they cast demons without inner healing. And, and many people Because all of us are culprits. Because in church, we must have freedom, liberty. Because you escape. This does not go away because you, but you escape. That if you're escape into something. They teach you if you're going through a certain situation, you know, escape. Either escape take route. medicine. Or do something, develop a certain behavior, make it a routine. Uh -huh. 
someone told me when you're tired do something that excites you shopping 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 is your you just shop even what you don't like that means I no longer have self control People buy chairs, that reckless shopping, that is a sickness. <laughs> Someone will show you like 200 chains. And you wonder what are all these jewelries for? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fingers on all five fingers, uh, rings on the whole ear. Uh, the Something is troubling that person. Something is eating them. They cannot tell it to anybody. Somebody will be helped. When you talk to the white people, they are truthful. For them, they are truthful. They will tell you. They said, I've come to talk to you. I know what you're talking about. What I'm going through. But here in Africa, they told us. Harden your heart. As bonds are rotting. Escapism. Escapism. What I call escapism. 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 There is a buy always pass by. And there are always people 24-7 from Monday to Sunday. Someone is hiding. You don't have a bed. Or to load. The Bible says that God gives sleep to those he has. If you don't have sleep, you need to be healed. Something is troubling you, making you sleepless. Party animal. You're in every party, every party. Literally, you can't see you. Yeah, when there is a party, everyone will show up. You're lying, you're wounded. Let me tell you the saga of Webu Yang Kuzi. Me, I'm, I've grown old. If you get tired, oh, bye bye. Oh. The doors are open. If you get tired, oh, bye I will meet you again. It's the exact person, no change. He had used his hand away and said it has come to pass. Oh. Who told you that God called me to have a church of 200,000 people? He said, I want those who are to take care of me. I want someone that I can carry from A to Z. And even the one who's to be healed, I test you. I have a friend. God did great and miraculous things. And after that, text broke. I said, Pastor, I want to talk to you. I want to start on a journey. I said, mm -hmm. I listened. We still had, we still had our office for prayer. Mm -hmm. We would sit there and pray. He wasn't shouting. They're telling mommy, you say oh, that boy is praying, he's going somewhere. He said, let him shout. That prayer is taking him somewhere. There are those who want to do it, but they are too proud. And I tell your neighbor, even where you are, you also want to shout, but you are afraid of being ashamed. I took him to that room. I said, each time you come, just go straight to that room for three days and, cry, and wait on God until you come to me when you're ready to talk to me. He came, he came, he came again, came again, came the third day. I said, now you're ready to walk to his journey. Won't you leave here? When I tell you do this, you will do it. There is no one I've handled like that and fails to break through. 
But you know, people are like helicopters. They are like parachutes. Even now, there are those who are parachutes. And they think they've gone to take something. There's nothing. God wants to heal his people. There is no such a person. Into drugs. And someone goes into drugs. I have someone who came. And he said, Pastor, I want to confide in you. He said, in salvation, I'm strong, but I drink. I said, each time I live like this. I go, I don't sleep. I said, I dance and sing and pray. But after, I take. He said, bring, let me see what you are doing. Beer, wine, waraji, whiskey. Yeah, what should I do? We prayed. After we prayed, and I Nemoa approach. I gave him the approach of how to handle. Each time you feel and you feel like doing it, call me and tell me right now. I have my friend We are going. I said, the day you will feel ashamed to tell me, that's when you will go. So he started calling me. And they've come for me. And I start now prayers. That's how he was delivered from alcoholism. He kept praying, he would come. I would say, now turn, they can't come here. I'd say, now come, come. And he comes and we pray. And I started, we started doing spiritual mapping. Where should we put the key? How did it begin? Other people after they are surrounded in problems. I escaping into relationships. They escape into relationships. When you see someone smile, you think it's the one. And you being you kept you will keep being manipulated advantage over. And you want to run away from home because at home there are problems. Now when such a person gets into a marriage or a relationship without healing, one, two, they struggle until they feel like leaving the marriage. Because you can't handle. And those who are too possessive, too attached, too very jealous. All the time is possessive wherever you go. I, 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 I don't know, but I think I'm going to You know, it's like this. No one does that unless you have a problem. You, you will call it too much love. No, that is not love. He needs a certain dimension of healing. And to some of us, God, tell others, tell someone that God, God has broken relationship. God has helped you and healed you over, delivered you over a broken relationship. You will remain with a permanent scar. Because better is a broken relationship than a broken marriage. Because that heartbreak will be perpetual. You will feel guilty. You feel the guilt of the other. You will be there and you will be tortured and traumatized. Tell your neighbor, first get healed. First get healed before you go into anything. Because you will explode. And say a word and the person will wonder where this word is. The word just sells It shows it that you, you really had a problem. I said there are even those who try to ignore. I, 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 I will, I don't like. They it. pretend that something doesn't exist. They self-deny your by its lie. There are people who will forget them. 
You can't forget and resolve the things. You forget, you forget. You forget it for a little while. We become I things we think we forget. We forget. Others try the blame tactic like Eva, like Adam in the garden. Not for my mother, not for my mother. Is it worse? And, uh, and others want to use the technique. But you can see someone who portrays, portrays It's just a camouflage. So you may have pity. That one is more deadly. Someone who grows in such a mentality. How many have worked with people who you are working same level, same salary, but has one trouser always? Portrays this image of I'm poor, I don't have. That one has a, a problem. Now tell that person why are you cheating? You are cheating yourself. You can afford another shirt, another trouser. If you have the ability to take care of yourself, you think the world is on you. They will eventually discover you're just camouflaging. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed. Be healed, be healed. Stop that excuse of so blame game. Others so try to so cover so. them up. I mean, these bodies so they can forget the other. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with God. Be honest with the trusted friends. Amina. Amina. And determine to free those that have hurt you. Forgive, ask God to give so you the you grace. Are, I know it is the most difficult thing. By the, the time Peter asked Jesus, Jesus, how many times can I forgive my brother? Peter, and Jesus told him seven times, not even seven, yes. but in time was seventy. Yes. Hey. You mean if one hundred and ninety, I'm forgiving one person? But you cannot count 450. So what you need to do, make it a lifestyle to forgive. Things are holding that back. People can't be healed because of such scenarios. Amen. Free people. When you think of it, it causes pain. But forgive as you have been forgiven. Forgive not because he deserves the one you are forgiving, but it's the right thing to do. It is, the one, it is what will cause healing. We forgive others because we, are, uh, we were also forgiven by God. And don't be vengeful. Leave the case in the hands of God. Amina. Amina. There is that peace. Be a peacemaker. I want you to understand something today. Let me tell you. Every time you don't, you are about to do something big. I showed you the man Absalom. Who kept something on his heart what um, the brother Amnon did for two years. He finally killed him. Cain. Just your look at Muganda, we are killed. We are Abbe. Not killed. We are Katonda. Cain in action. How many more people want to go to Ngaringa? Who are magazi? Ngaringa. Why are you not even to go Ngaringa? Have you have you had people like the Cain approach? Cain kept it on his heart because Abbe, the brother, was loved. Then even gave him counsel. You even people give you counsel, but inside they are dying. 
Cain, God came and took, talked to him and no one knew what was in his heart. Cain, and he said to him, Cain, why has your continence changed? If you do good, won't you also be accepted? And he said, but Cain. But the devil is on the door of your heart. He wants to conquer you. If you don't overestimate him. All of us, when we go to the Lord, we pray we hear this. And God tells you, convicts your son. Now, if you're struggling, that's where you should reach out to a brethren to join in faith. Because you alone, you have failed. If you do well, will you not be accepted, the Lord told you. And if you don't do well, sin lies at the door. It's not yet inside this, but it's at the door. And this desire is for you. But you should master it or rule over it. And Cain, the Bible says in 8, talked with Abel, his brother. He continued to talk as if there was nothing. And it came to pass because he never mastered this thing that wanted to come into his heart. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. People who don't heal, they are even arrogant in the place of God. telling me the things of forgetting, let's talk about something else. This is the same Cain before God. And God came to Cain and asked him, where is your brother? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? That is anger. Arrogance. Arrogant. You are arrogant even before God. Have you ever had peace? But the Bible says that God sent his word to heal. If we read the word of God with the spirit, the word heals. Tell your neighbor the word of God heals. First Thessalonians 5.23 When you read that verse, let, let, let's begin with that. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you what completely and may your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is what he wants. He wants to sanctify you completely. But what sanctifies people? The word of God. Washes, sanctifies. The word of God has healing power contained in it. It is a supernatural phenomenon that is difficult to understand. In the natural, people cannot understand. Because the Bible is not a natural book. It is infused by the, the very nature and the presence of the Holy Spirit. And that is why he said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. The word of God is active like the Bible says in Hebrews 4.12. And read it without skipping. How many have gone through circumstances and there are some verses you don't want to read? And that verse brings me conviction, condemnation. You just skip certain papers. You jump, you skip. And go to another. Mm -hmm. God, speak to me, speak to me, Lord. Now you go to TikTok or someone else who's speaking nice things yeah. to your earring. Back to the sender. Yes, yes. Back to the sender, yes. Mm. I tell your neighbor, you're still a witch. You'll still be witching. <laughs> By the time we wake up, 
sit under his holy tree. No, you ain't got holy yet, man. Let me tell you. But the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul, spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. What? 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 Chitamu no kuwaula the man look who wrote these words he said the word in acts that the word it through the word the anointing the power of the spirit flows through it in acts 10 38 the bible says God anointed Jesus so mighty with the Holy yes. Spirit and power. Who went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed. Hey, oppression hey, is inside. Hey, this is Luke is saying. He wrote. Luke he's a doctor. Luke, Luke was a doctor. Luke he was a physician. He says Jesus healed those who were oppressed by the devil. So healing involves deliverance. Healing and deliverance are the same. To be healed is to be delivered, and to be delivered is to be healed. And I want to tell you today deliverance from evil spirits, all breaking curses, and breaking covenants, and can only fix half of the problem. And it is a secondary to inner healing. Because demons always want a legal ground. And the only legal ground you can avail is bitterness, unforgiveness, memories that hurt, traumas. But if such traumas are not out, are not dealt with, they act as a legal ground for the devil. You cast out and cast again and cast again and always cast. There is someone used to come to my office and we pray and we cast out and I would wonder manifestation. Manifestation. after manifestation no man I want to speak to you I'm not on this deliverance of yours and where there is commotion and you're so happy I don't want to you know stay in that journey and you sweat and lose your I want you to come back to your senses and I ask you why is this? What legal ground you've given me? So when he went and come back again and again to and forth and forth, he said something else. And I said, why is it a cycle? Why is it a repeating? He didn't I don't know how the conversation began. I said, but you know, the, the enemy, we give him a legal ground. I don't know the way the word of knowledge can come. And I said, for example, the way you can see a person, you can see a person and you give a person a legal ground by not forgiving. You can deal with someone that saw you were born again, but you are bought and are bought. Now imagine, now imagine a person has has and, 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 and he left the chair and he nailed it down. He said, Kezaki I have aborted you. And we began from there now. We have and he said, even the fourth one is still fresh. The, the and that the baby this time the fetus had grown even it was very visible we put it in the police bag eh. ah. and now we began the journey of healing 
Today, do not allow Jesus to pass you by. Say your neighbor, do not allow Jesus to pass you by. Evil spirits. Sport and evil And they torment. And if for you, you are busy with the evil spirits, the ground is there. That is why the Bible says, do not give a foothold to the this is a very important scripture to a believer. Ephesians is four. I think it's from 21. But but you, can begin from. you know, deliverance will again now. When deliverance goes there, it is bitter and tough. If indeed you have heard him and have told been taught by him as the truth in Jesus. That you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful desire. And be renewed in the spirit of mind. And that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, Putting away lying. Let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. For we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer. But rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good. That he may have something to give him who has Let not corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. But what is good for necessary, good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. What now these things give the devil a foothold. He can cast out demons. But if the inner hearts remains, those spirits will return. And for that reason, inner healing is so important. Inner healing is the clearing the way of the past garbage collected over time or which you put in store of your heart and mind including those past wounds and traumas and resolved issues of the heart get them out inner healing is the process of bringing wellness to a person's inner life spirit, soul, and body. It's like a surgery. Surgery. On a vital organ. This heart is a vital organ spiritually. But it has two sides. There is a, a physical heart and a spiritual heart. Because the Bible says, out of your heart flows springs. Healing. Inner healing is more focused on healing the soul. Mind, will, and emotions. You can be saved spiritually. You are free. When it comes to that, you are saved. But when you are not free, when it comes to emotional parts, you can be saved following the Lord. And having a place in heaven, but still live a life trapped in mental and emotional bondage. Even in the book of Acts chapter 8, I think verses 9, there was 
Waliyo msajjo no kubali waita Simon. Yaliyo msamize. When he had, he gave me, people gave me to him, saying he is a great man of power. Msajja wa amanyi. Wa amanyi. Aino mwingu watako to ramu. And he did the sorcery for long, astonished me. Nabela ne tutumo, ne kusaidi enchamu. And when they believed Philip as he preached, even Simon believed. Even Simon believed. Was he a believer? And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip. Amazed, seeing the miracle signs which were done. Alabe biyama gerera ita naban. Wane muje. E chiri wali. Mulabe biyama gerera. Akiriza huya akiriza. He believed, you see that he believed. And he was baptized. But in his heart, listen to what happened next. Now when the apostles who were in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of the Lord, they sent Peter and John to them. Who when they had come down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet he had fallen upon none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they laid their hands on them received the Holy Spirit. And when Simon saw that through the laying on of hands the Holy Spirit was given he offered them money. But these men saw beyond what the eyes beheld. Mm. Now let's see the healing. Gamba. Saying, Saint, money is here, give me of that power, so that whosoever I lay my hands upon will be filled with the Spirit. After all, I'm born again, and I'm baptized. But the way he wants the power is different. Something is not right. And Peter said, may you perish with your money. Because you thought you can have the gift of God by purchasing it with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter for your heart is not right with God. But is he born again? Yes. Is he, was he baptized? Yes. And they said to him, repent because of this wicked thing and pray that God because of these evil thoughts in your heart that he may forgive you. Because I see you are poisoned and poisoned by bitterness. Where he had bitterness on who? He was bitter towards this e Philip the one who took Amu the took the, show, took the fame and the people. And, and he's wondering what can I do now? You can make a decision out of jealous. And no one will know. Because it is hidden within you. But later, whether you want it or not, it will manifest. What? He, he prayed. Simon answered, and uh, pray to the Lord for me. That none of these things which you have up, spoken may come upon me. Mutu fuzi ju do wuja. Nibu kau. Sabira ko pete lo kona biye. Bolingi zamunda muti magwang. You have seen deep in my heart. And you have seen why I'm in power. 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 I want to fill a vacuum. 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 I also want glory. I also want honor. Even not being satisfied in life is a sin. People who are never satisfied. Have you ever lived with a person or someone is rich or doing well but all the time he's greedy for more and never wants you to be better? That person has a problem. 
Hey, you're buying shoes. Everything is like, you know, that's mocking you. Ah, how much is that? Like you don't, you're not, 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 remain with your kaweke until Christ returns. <laughs> Say that Africa really has problems. We need enough healing. If you're praying, pray for your brothers, pray for your brothers. Where do you think that when a person is trying to prosper, he decides normally to shift and normally identifies a community that they identify with? When a person is walking, he's like eyes are going through. Even when he's driving, he's feeling some, some certain mouth, his lips, you know, walking. and now decides to shift. That when I'm driving into my home, we, we have a resemblance, a commonality. And changes location. Because of that matter, that problem. I want you to tell your neighbor, are you alive? Your soul is the second part of your being. Your soul is made of your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind is what you think. Your mind is what you think. Mind, your will. Is what you choose. Your emotions is what you feel. Through the course, you know, all the through the course of life, the soul can become wounded, can become defiled, and damaged through abuse, through rejection, disappointments, brokenness, traumatized. All these can damage your soul can be damaged. And we all have the mind, will, and emotions. How can you know that this can be damaged? By the behaviors of a person. I guess I call it a conscious. I call it a conscious. And the psychologists respond to conscious with the you the use behavior therapy or medication. And this cannot settle something permanent. And people who don't know and as I told you, you can turn to drugs, alcohol, to subdue the thoughts. But still, this is temporary. But you have to be careful that you don't That's why it is easy to manipulate such a person. Bible says that many are going to be deceived in the last days. You, you think when a child grows, when he's discriminated, or rejected, or rejected, you think that child is not affected? Each time that child remains alone, he thinks of it, ponders, and as he thinks, it builds and starts to influence his or her decisions. But God. There is nothing he cannot heal. Tell your neighbor God wants to heal you. But you, yourself, must, no you be honest. but you must face yourself and be honest. 
Okay, yes, true, I want to be healed. Today, there are many deceiving spirits. And they are also contributing more to the damage. You know, when a person is start thinking he's being healed, and uh, many people manipulation. When a person, when a person identifies that was being manipulated, at nada yomo kose wakuri. First Timothy four. Timothy we four kanya. Olunyiro toka ndolo kubiri. First Timothy. Timothy we chisoka. Timothy we chisoka. Isule yokuna. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith. Tika chomo yomo luata yoke dana gama timobire biolo vanyuma abantu baje kuva mukukiriza. Luata abantu baje nda kuva mukukiriza. And when they do, and we come, I take you here. Give heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. For example, if you learn a person who has refused to forgive, if you preach the doctrine, when you preach the doctrine of back to sender, he will easily embrace and receive it. Now, after 10 years, he comes saying, I am tired of pentecostal things. But I want to tell you that when you left phone again, you never came into phone again. You sat in a shrine, come afraid as a church, in the last 15 years, and now your heart that they played on you. You took yourself there. And they give themselves to the deceiving spirits and, and doc, wrong doctrines. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Having having their seared with a hot iron. Tell your neighbor. Let's be healed inside. Let's be healed inside, in a healing. Christians who allow themselves to be deceived from the message of the cross is what they are talking about here. To their own version of Christianity, which is not biblical. First, in a heart, cause a person to dislove themselves. Now, in a heart, causes you to hurt others. In a heart, causes you to blame God. All the time, you're telling God, God, can't you see? Me, I prayed. Like that, I'm praying. Why me? You start to attack others without your knowledge. But you first hated yourself. Say, me, I, I left those things. Those are for others. That doesn't work for me. In a heart. It will cause you to have an incorrect view of yourself. Of others and God. You don't see yourself in the God sees you. You you Have you ever seen a person who's so negative towards herself or himself? You see something different, but that person sees herself or himself as worse as bad failure. Because in his or her mind is competing with something else. He will never accept that I'm well off. All the time is in, 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 in strife and has no peace. But when you sit well, you can really see where God has gotten you from and is taking you somewhere. Now turn to your neighbor. Can you get someone? Someone pay a rap, each other. 
I did say join hands. I didn't say put someone in the middle, just look someone in the hands. Don't say everything because you might scare the person. I don't want you to speak about all the negatives. I don't want you to speak about any negative. I want you in retrospective. 20 years back. Some others who are young than 20, 10 years back. Some will say 6 years back. Some of us 20 years back. Uh -huh. Look back 20 years back. And say to them, walk with me as a born again 10 years back. Begin to tell me, hey, we don't give your Mm. I want you to only a positive report. Begin to count your blessings. Even how you're thinking now. When you're asking, you're contending, you're saying, God, you're abandoning me. God, now speak, speak to that person as 20 years back. Did you have that degree? I, do you know that that is a blessing? You have somewhere you have, do you know there are others that people who are homeless? You walked on a border without an accident. You walked on a border without an accident. You walked on a border without an accident. Sika mind yo manjika tu waduwe chikuta wanyachi mucho ka. Pull your mind. I know that they were trying to say no. A bad thing uncovering all the good things. Resist it. Kati yo mundu yo munga amba. Now that person tells that person. You keep him quiet looking at him. Ah, sagala kumpurira. Njogera muongere. He's buying time for you to share to each other. Tandiko kuogera muongere. Tebaba gambia gata mga. Kumutu mgambi mgeti mga. It is also a sickness, inner healing. Inner ah, healing. Our children must go oh, where? Oh, someone has. Hey, Papa, we have suffered. Oh, we have suffered. What have you suffered? Do you know people who admire you? Oh, people people want to be like you. you. There are people in Uganda who are the two million. Who are saying, if I, I can reach where if I can reach where that lady hey, is, you are, you, are you, you are there praying. For you, you are praying. But you are saying, God, oh. Into his gates with thanksgiving will bring healing. The joy of the Lord must be part of your journey. Rejoice, and I say, rejoice always. Sanyuka edanga ba sanyuka anga. Katunda ba ntu abalimbi abata deka mas. Amen. People have lied. Even in ministry, someone lied. Me, I'm too blocked. I can't handle anything. I can't manage. I need mercy. Self-pity. Because all of us don't like <laughs> When we have food, bread on our table, and a cloth, that is enough to praise it. Let God see gratitude, gratitude from your heart. And then you say, God, I see you have done me good. But like the man, man, but in this area there is a leprosy. Don't begin from the negative. Begin Banda from the positive. Mumaze, mumaze. Asosa mazo wakubirina ya yogere. Ambagambi entia. I say your heart. heart. Mwe tunuri de mke tunuri na mazee. An incorrect view of yourself. Tiza kule tiro kubera nen ent. Weda ba mubu tu. An incorrect view of others. Incorrect. O tunuri da ba la 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 la. There are people who think other people have their money. It is in your head. That one has my money. <laughs> that one has my money. I'm 
Those are ungodly beliefs. Which is one of the main, main areas of focus for deliverance. <laughs> you know, knowing only that your sins are forgiven. And you are made right with God. Is the first necessity. Truth and essential to receive in a healing. You must see the blood of Jesus as a cleansing power of the soul. You need a revelation of it. But those are views. Trauma. Heart. Pain, disappointments, frustrations, frustrations of the devil, so the devil. And Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Allow him to destroy. He came to restore his children to the fullness to which the creator made them to be. That is why he went around doing good. Healing those that were oppressed. Even as he's going to do to you. Now ask your neighbor, how do you see yourself? When you keep quiet, do you see that the Lord has walked you a journey? Hmm. When my mom told me that 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 healing everyone and and you are put on oxygen for so many days. That was enough. I said, let me get saved and serve God. Because I was meant to die when I was a baby. Why don't I count all the years I've left you? Why don't I count the gift of salvation as I've left you? Why don't I begin from there before I continue elsewhere? Why do I begin from negatives and complaints Tell and murmurings? Tell somebody count your blessings, my brother. Someone can work. Even if someone speaks ill of you, you, you know the truth where God has gotten you from, what he has done in your life, with the things he has done for you. God has really gotten some of us from somewhere. Amen. Amen. Only that sometimes we don't give tithes. <laughs> Even that torments you that you're not tithing. You've eaten it enough for a long time. <laughs> it is about also to eat you yourself. Now, as the that you think God has gotten you from all that far away has gotten you. you. That he will not do to you these other things that you want. <laughs> I know. Now let, you, let me tell you something more, uh, very painful. When the person you love most I know that is really terrible. When you think the one you have given your heart decides to take a, a knife and pierce. But you can still ask God for the bless. I know it is difficult, but ask God for the bless. Because God wants to continue with life. Maybe that makes you stuck. You are stuck in that one place. Every time God wants to take you no forward, you no think no about no that. Any any God God really? But so and so, it would not have been so and so. So and so hurt me. No, 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 no. We need to continue. Or oh, we 
you feel like if you had you feel like killing someone. someone. You know there's some of us kill others that in, in your list you have some people you wished dead like ten of them. I'm killing, killing. I wish this one would die. This one, this one would die. Hi, smart sassy. Now, if you return to me, no, the other time you are dozing. Now, this uh, goes to And you know Pentecostals will gossip. They give you the opportunity to say something. Gossip. Now turn back to me. Because you saw me tell me. You used of breaking and approaching and Each one of you, I'm going to you, what do you feel? Is, has God done something in your Obata life? Oh, he has never done anything in your Mukama life. Yakoze. Has God worked in your life? Tuchuke, abolukanda katuchuke. I want to ask. How, had you ever imagined that there where you are? Let me begin from here. How many sat for primary no seven? PLO area. And Bulungi. you did PL. He lift up your hands by Kata. a show of hands. Uh -huh. Now put down. You who did PL. And now you have a degree. Lift wanika, up your wanika, hand. Wanika, wanika, lift if you are a degree, a graduate, lift up your hand. Wanika, lift up your hand. Now look, look at those who are lifting up their hands. Look at those who have lifted up their hands. That in P7. Degree. Would you see the degree? Would you, you see, see the primary degree at P7? Degree. At P7, P7 were you able to envision the degree? No, not at all. Not at all. And when we are counting blessings, you don't know that. Now, do you know another? When will the person get a husband? Now, now, degree doesn't count and matter. Now, what matters is a husband. Now, that is what kills and dims faith. You are not appreciated. Tosima. You forget it quickly. You turn away. No. Nedda. Nedda. I'm going to ask all of us. And you must tell me the truth. If you are not born in Kampala, but you are born, if you are born in a village somewhere, not in Kampala. Mubuze. Did you ever envision yourself in Kampala? In your home. Have you ever envisioned yourself in Kampala? You knew you would speak your Lugisu until you go even. You never. But was a vision. But there is no longer vision. You did not only come. Some of you, you bought a place. You have a permanent place. You have your own house. Now what is happening? Lord, how does someone get an apartment? A 10-unit apartment. 20-unit apartment. Now when people are giving testimony, you feel hurt. When someone says, I've been hurting you, tell God if you did that, even this is not big deal. Hallelujah. Amen. But if your mom didn't sit on you while pushing you, you you will be healed. You will survive in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be healed. you will be healed, your heart will be well and whole. You know, after a person is totally healed, and the person comes slowly, slowly, and, and says, forgive me what I did. 
forgive me what I did. I know you feel like, oh, oh. Uh, what did you do? You, 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 you healed and you even forgot Say, among us, the things you healed of another is tormented. And you sometimes you forget, you think the one who did it is not tormented. And sometimes they are more tormented than even you whose heart. Amen. Now to turn to every parent here. Say, after your heart and wounded, never hurt your children. Don't wound your children. Some of us, we wound our children. We extend some of the pains of the heart. The causes are, are the children, are the parents. Many children suffer because of the faults and failures of their parents. Because they see their parents fighting. Five years always you see your daddy beat your mom. It can never get out of their mind. And if you're there, you ever beat your wife in front of and your children saw you. Your children saw you beat your mommy. That in the time of COVID, wives were beating husbands. <laughs> in the gym, in the days, women are, you know, Building muscles. When a, a child sees the parents fighting, it's trauma and it never leaves their mind. And they hate you, yet they, they are not at liberty no, to tell you they hate you. you. And sometimes you want well, to draw them closer. They see their child is growing and they want to to befriend, to befriend their son, to befriend their daughter. And the child closed. When the children closed, and the child said, no, my father will not take me to the altar. He will not walk me on the aisle. Why? I love my child. You forgot that at four years, he would always see you slapping the mother. He would see the mother back at the father. And he says, you will not walk me on that aisle. And you refuse to listen to him. He would have told you, but even you don't listen. You don't heed. You never gave them an opportunity. What things that did not please you? My child, so your child will tell you and narrate those incidences. Amen. Now every believer here say to them, people who are like that, come in church, knowing it's where there is an answer. And not everyone has the opportunity to come to the pulpit or to the pastor. They come and they meet you and lands on another wounded person. Reje the one rejected lands on the one uh, uh, abandoned. Rejected, yes, rejected. And you know magnets pull metals. Birds of the same uh, feathers rejected, fly together. Rejection pulls fellow no, rejection. Where to go. And <laughs> mm. <laughs> and a, a girl lands on a man who no no has no any fatherhoodness in him, no complications. You did not discern right. And he shows you a touch. Take away your And you're going to marry. Or you're going to be married. Discern. Test those things. The person has a father. Father figure. This person uh, is your friend. Can she understand me? I say these things. There are those even who are retired. I got someone. I wrote uh, a python that is going to 
The heart is hardened. You want that one of the hardened heart, heartless. No I pray the blood of Jesus will be strong. Say um, the blood of Jesus Christ to do it. So get in our mind, the Messiah Gwaya. Oh, Messiah Gwaya, so. Gukolo muri muguwa gumunze muri nyali ayesu. May the blood of Jesus Christ do its work in us. People suffer because of that. Someone looks on the outside, never sees in the heart. And you end up landing on a person that is worse and very complicated, more traumatized than even you. You saw the father beat the mother, now has the image, has the image that a true man is the one who beats the woman. So you've just started going out. Now every every female look at me. No, you're seated and you're talking. And he makes an order. But be careful, don't just you don't know how much he has. You've made an order worth fifty thousand. For him he made his order of twenty-five thousand. And then you ask for a drink. You ask for a dessert and ice cream as if you're on your own money. <laughs> Those are a few things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and now after that, uh, he asks. You can check quietly. Sit slow. <laughs> and you're like, sweetheart, what is it? Sweetheart, what is the problem? Sweet, what is it? <laughs> Honestly, who told you to make that order? <laughs> And he's very upset. He might spare. And you get out. Never talk to you. Now start to observe what is coming ahead of you. But for you it's like, I will change it. You're like Jesus. Me, my pastor told me how to deal with foundations. I will deal with it. You forewarned. Always watch the red flags. Always watch the red flags. They are there. After things go wrong, you remember every red flag. I saw the way he reacted. Ah. It's as if he was joking. And he said, the way you're talking, me, I'll you. Yeah, me, I can beat you. Yeah, me, I can beat you. I'm going to beat you. Hey. You saw that he might beat you. Now, finally, you saw that he might beat you. Now, finally, you're in the marriage, he's beating you. Uh -huh. Now you come running and you can imagine he beat me. You saw I me. thought he was joking. He wasn't joking. He wasn't joking. In their family where he comes from, they beat. <laughs> You're in the wedding, mommy and daddy can't look at each other. They say, come and pray for your children. Daddy sleeps, stand to the other side, mommy. And mommy, they give, give the microphone to the other one. He can't even mention the name. But you're in the wedding. You're saying in take of uh, no, your prophet. But already the prophets, the prophets are there. They are prophets. Parents are prophets. Let me tell you, beloved, the sickness of woundedness leaves the parents to the children. But in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may God heal all our wounds. May God heal the things you came with the church and you. Did you come with the love before you claim you didn't find love in the church? Oh, by the time you came, you were like that. 
Now, any kind of love that parents give you, you, you expect it to get it from fellow ashers, fellow worship team members, and then they give you to, to give you a kind of love like of a parent. Tell your neighbor, take the measure which is given to you. You can't get the equivalent measure of a parent. May God help us. Lack of inner healing you know, makes people pop. People, they hacken. Gossip. They are quitters. They quit a lot. They give up. You are lying. That is an evidence of a sickness, a disease, making you pop from one place to another. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, that God will begin to heal someone's inner wounds. May God heal all those inner things. Many people always say, leave the sleeping dog. Many people no, I have put all those things to sleep. No. Things that not, are not confronted, they are not healed. Each time you <laughs> watch this car, you explode. Like you've, you've opened the, a, a soda, which wow. is already wired. It is there. It was just suppressed. Why do you awaken such things fast? So that's not how they are healed. How are we healed? Tell us. who struggles with healing can never be healed. Remember the group you are Go in. Go back to your group. Go back to your group. Don't stand, sit, change the chair. You feel like standing, okay, you can sit. You can sit, sit in the group. The same group. May God. I want us to pray before we proceed into another thing that we ask Mbadde for healing. I want you to say that God, I want, I desire to be healed. I want to be healed. Now join hands. I want us to pray for inner healing in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for inner healing. I want us to pray for inner healing. Just to pray for inner healing. Join hands with that person. And ask them, do you want to be healed? Are there things you want to be removed out of your mind? Do you see the way you react, the way you respond? When you look back, do you see it is the cause of that When you look back, do you see it is the cause of that situation or that scenario? Where you grew up from, the people you grew up with, your environment, your place, things that happened to you at school and you kept quiet on them. What happened to you when you are growing up? Things they know and those they don't know, those you get to yourself. I truly believe that you might not be ready to open up and tell anyone. But allow the chief surgeon that in a most. And once you begin getting healed inside, even your physical body. No, no, you will be aligned with that healing and you will be healed. Begin to pray. Begin, Begin to cry to God that he may help you. That is, those, that is a sign of joining hands, a sign of agreement. Now you know what you know, so you can go and 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 you can go and